Welcome to today's video. Today we're going to review a fairly new Noctua air cooler for CPU tower cooler uh, and we're going to talk about the NHU12A that has NFA12 times 25 uh, fans on both sides and it has the middle aluminium radiator. In the middle, the radiator's thickness is 58 millimeters. But before we get into all the details and specifications, and of course, testing and reviewing actually the CPU tower color, let's uh, do a quick unboxing, check what we got, the box content actually, and yeah, basically, then we'll go more into details. So, if you watched my past review of the Noctua CPU tower cooler, which was which is still here basically for the uh, SFF builds basically you probably noticed their packages are well just incredible I mean you'll find it funny but when you find a um, package that is like very sloppy arranged inside and something like that you kind of get uh, discouraged to actually build something so basically when you open the box you get the accessory box uh, it has and I'm just going to read it quickly you have the CQ Firm 2 mounting system for Intel and AMD processors you have the screwdriver you have their thermal paste you have this is the LNA and you have the 4 pin Y splitter uh, that's actually pretty cool accessory box and I mean look at it you get all of this and I mean you have the AMD instruction manual you have the uh, LGA 115X instruction manual and you have the LGA 20XX instruction manual so basically three instruction manuals how to do how to mount everything as I said you have the LNA you have the four-way splitter you have two LNAs actually sorry and you have the thermal compound this is the NTH1 uh, spacers, screws, you have the mounting brackets which are already almost mounted, just kidding here we go, for AMD and for Intel you have this this is actually really handy because not all screwdrivers that you have at home have this kind of long head or whatever so you can nicely tie the screws on the CPU tower cooler, the radiator and to the mounting bracket. So this is really nice. You have the Intel bracket already. The, I mean, this is really nice because you already have everything placed for the 115X uh, socket and you just place it uh, on the other side. You place, we get to that point. Now let's see, these are some additional screws that you have, these are uh, standoffs and you have mounting screws as well here. So we're going to leave them outside as well and we're going to check it out. <coughs> okay, now for the most important thing, I guess we'll just have to flip it. Okay. So it opens like a flower again and here we have the cooler. Now this is uh, actually when I saw the pictures I didn't thought that it was this big but it does have a huge, uh, does leave an impression that we are talking here about some serious cooler. Uh, as you can see and as I said already you have two fans. These are NFA 12 times 25 PWM fans. Uh, at the bottom you have the plate that contacts the IHS on your processor and you have the connections for the PWM which you connect to your Y splitter. Uh, the radiator is as you can see and as I said 58 millimeters thick and at the bottom you have seven pipes going through the radiator which dissipate the heat from the CPU through the radiator which is quite alright. Max rotational speed of the NFA12 times 25 is 2000 RPMs. With the LNA cable, it is uh, 1700 RPMs. Minimal rotational speed is 450 RPMs, so that means very low. Uh, max 
airflow is 102.1 uh, cubic meters per hour and with the LNA it goes down to 84.5 cubic meters per hour and when it comes to acoustic noise maximum is 22.6 and with the LNA is 18.8 decibels uh, mean time to failure is more than 150,000 hours so basically these are all the specifications that they mentioned uh, right here on the box I think as well yeah it says here on the box uh, as for the rotational speed it uh, varies plus minus 10 percent so take that into account when you're uh, trying to check out the speed of the fans in your BIOS or on your fan controller or anything like that the whole radiator dimensions are 158 times 125 times 58 and when you add the fans, you get 158, 125, 112. Also, I mentioned all the manuals that you get with the CPU tower cooler. The installation process is nicely described in the manual, in each of them, you get in the box, which can also be found on the Noctua website. As for the mounting backplate, we already talked about CQ Forum 2 mounting kit, which is by far one of my favorite way to mount a CPU tower cooler. In other words, less finger cutting when connecting everything, placing thick black standoffs on the mounting screws and after that two retentional clips on the plastic standoffs to secure the backplate. Of course you have to apply uh, enough thermal paste on the CPU and remove the fans from the radiator uh, of the NHU12A. You can secure the radiator really quickly by using the screwdriver you get, which, which I already shown you, with the CPU cooler, uh, then reattach the fans back to it. Basically, I already uh, checked how to reattach the fans because I'm always curious, and uh, it's fairly easy. There's no uh, basically problem. You just push this a bit outside, as you can see, and then you place it back inside the fins. Also, I like to mention that. Um, as usual, Noctua keeps everything under control when it comes to cooling and vibration and noise. So you have on each side of the fans, you have a rubber mounting here, which connects, well, which touches directly the radiator. So it doesn't make any extra vibrations when the fan spins. As you can see here, there aren't any issues when it comes to RAM compatibility. And by that, I mean height and the high profile RAMs. We are going to stress test the CPU and here are the results. And basically the final verdict for the Noctua is you can always count on them because they really deliver what they state on their website. So they keep the temperatures of the processor at a solid level uh, even though they can compete with some AIOs definitely, I mean without a doubt. Uh, and that means you don't have to worry about temperatures overheating or even thermal throttling. When it comes to build design, build quality, uh, you don't have to worry about that as well. I mean, I'm just putting all the positive things out there, but to be honest, their build quality is always superior and you can see that by the fans and basically with the whole packaging stuff, they're really making some premium CPU tower coolers without a doubt, including fans and, and thermal paste. When I say the acoustic is just right, it uh, goes up to 33 decibels or something like that when the CPU is under full load and when you push the fans uh, up to maximum level. When talking about the temperatures and everything, you do have to take into consideration that this is 58 millimeter radiator uh, and that is uh, how you could maybe adjust the temperatures and I don't mean adjust as regulate them, I'm talking about the size of the radiator also uh, means a lot when it comes to cooling your CPU, so that's why we got this kind of results. If it was a thicker radiator, of course, the temperatures would be lower and if it had more fans, of course, as well but also it depends on the airflow through the case so basically if you want a premium quality premium CPU tower cooler premium design and if you want something that is uh, that you can count on when it comes to temperatures and cooling definitely Noctua is the way to go so that's about it I'll put the links below guys for you to check out the Noctua NHU 12A that comes with two fans NF A1225 and basically that is it 
you've seen the package content and everything links are below don't forget to check them out don't forget to check them out on their social media i'll put the links below as well and see you next time guys thank you for watching bye bye